Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on the buyers and sellers' first caper from Tiny Acorns. This is a mini quest that you can do after completing the buyers and sellers quest. If you haven't completed that quest, in the description below I'll have a link for the guide, and you obviously need to complete that before you can access the capers. Anyway, to complete this cape you need the following requirements, so like I said a moment ago, you need to complete the buyers and sellers quest initially, and you also require level 24 thieving. However, no items are required um, at all. So, the quest starting point when you're ready, we're currently at the Lumridge Lodestone, which can be accessed via the Lodestone network. And to start the first KP, you want to go to the Thieves Guild, which you should remember uh, from the uh, prequel quest, um, is located behind uh, the house, which is north of Lumridge Furnace, and you need to access it via the cellar. And once you're inside, you want to speak to Darren Lightfinger to ask him um, if there's anything else you can help with developing the guild, and you'll be given the first KP to complete. So the cape will involve you stealing a, a toy dragon that someone has been making and then basically what you're going to do is then ask them for the money back so that the guild ends up with double the profit. So what we need to do is head to the Varrock Square. Now the quickest way to get there is via the Varrock Lodestone, via the Lodestone Network. Once there, you want to head north to the Varrock Fountain and you want to talk to a dwarf called Eurist Lorik who is standing by the crafting stall which is the southeast corner of the fan, uh, fountain and you should see the icon on the minimap. So you want to speak to the dwarf first and ask him all available options that are on the chat and then what you need to do after that is talk to the nearby market guard who's watching and again ask him every possible question and the guard will tell you about the dwarf being obsessed with his talisman. So what you need to do now is pickpocket the dwarf, it is possible to fail and very likely if you're doing this quest at a minimum thieving level, um, if you are a higher level you shouldn't have any problem at all. Once you have stolen the talisman from him by pickpocketing him, you need to stand north of the dwarf and left click the talisman to put it on the ground. Uh, your character should automatically do this. Once you've done that, speak to the dwarf and inform him that he must have dropped his talisman on the ground. He'll say something along the lines of, I wonder how that got there, and he'll then uh, go to pick up his talisman. What you then need to do is quickly run to the guard and ask him, uh, or right click and distract him, and you'll tell him about uh, Gypsy Aris's sign, giving him a weird look, and then when both the guard and dwarf are distracted, you need to quickly steal from the stall. If for any reason you do happen to fail, just literally repeat that process again, just pickpocket the talisman, put it on the uh, ground again, and then distract the guard before stealing from the stall. But you have got a uh, good duration um, before they return to the stall, so you should get it on the first try. So once you have stolen the toy dragon, you want to talk to the dwarf to get the banker's note um, with the money back for Darren, and then we need to return to Darren Lightfinger uh, to finish the uh, mini quest slash caper. So once you return to Darren, uh, and he will thank you, and he'll come up, congratulations, you completed the From Tiny Acorns mini quest. You're awarded 1,000 thieving experience. You have the ability to steal a craftsman's monocle, the ability to purchase crafting equipment from the dwarf, um, access to advanced pickpocketing trainer and coshing volunteers in the Thieves Guild, two treasure hunting keys, and two hearts of ice. So overall, very easy mini quest, uh, and the rewards are okay, um, considering how easy it is. The thieving experience will bump you up a few levels if you are a low level. Um, now the craftsman's monocle I mentioned, basically you can get that stolen from the dwarf. So after you finish this mini quest, you can go back and talk to the dwarf uh, and choose the dialogue option. Is that your talisman by your foot there? He will then bend down and you'll automatically steal his craftsman's monocle. Um, it's mostly sort of a cosmetic thing. The only benefit it does have, it will allow you to make uh, clockwork items in your player own house uh, two levels earlier than usual so say for example you need something that requires uh, 34 uh, crafting to make you could do it at 32 crafting if you had the monocle worn but other than that pretty standard rewards but it's a very easy mini quest it will now allow you to do the second uh, caper uh, mini quest which once I have made will be available in the description below I don't think you'll get stuck following my guide, however if you do run into any problems leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best I can. If not, thank you for watching, please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers guys, bye bye.